putting you two in charge. You're kidding. It's laughter we're after. You're no longer hiring scarers? <laughs> scarers are out. Jokesters are in. Report to Mift. What exactly is Mift? Ah, uh, now you've done it. The Monsters, Inc. facilities team. M-I-F-T. If a machine needs maintenance, we maintain it now. Yeah. Nobody saw nothing. Well, nobody saw nothing. When it comes to symbols of the past, there are still a lot of people who ascribe extra natural powers to symbols. Sign of the cross, number 13. Luck symbols, bad luck symbols. At what point, though, do benign symbols become malignant? You're one of the sharpest students I've ever had. Raw intellect can only take you so far. Peter, I knew this was going to be life-threatening. I would have just gone to the library. Professor Langdon? I was expecting Peter. He asked me to let you know about an urgent situation. Hello? You will solve the great mystery. This is only the beginning. Peter will point the way. That's Peter's ring. As above, so below. Catherine, something's happened. It's your dad. He's been taken. I don't know exactly what's going on. I teach symbology. I expect you'll find the sun, a lantern, and a key. The hand of the mystery. Did this person say what he wants? He wants me to locate an ancient portal buried within the capital and unlock it. How's your Latin? Not as good as my Arabic. Eh? Do you happen to put that key back? You mean this? No, no one told me to put it back. You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? There's a purpose to everything he's done. Walt wants to be deceived. So let it be deceived. This is only the beginning. You're Mary Morrison, best-selling author. I hear you're in the midst of adding another book to the series. <laughs> All I can say is, finally. What you need is a full-time sitter. I'm Grace. Hi, Grace. She can't be real. Look, I have my girlfriend back, huh? I could never have gotten this far without you. You are the best partner a girl could ever have. <laughs> You're so hot. Maybe I can. Something about you is different. You deserve this. Please don't ever let me go. I thought we could use a little playtime. a part of anything than when I'm here with you. <laughs>
I just don't want to crush Christopher's dreams of communicating with aliens. Emily, we are so close to communicating with whatever is out there. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when it finally happens? It's going to be lit. Will he let us in? It happened in this town over 50 years ago when there was only one eyewitness. Frederick Munch. You mean me, Mr. Munch? His house is totally haunted. The Black Eyed Kids. It's their harvest in time. So why do they ask you that question? To let them in? Because they have to. They need permission. Or whatever you do, never say yes. Sweetheart. The police will take care of it. Please! I want you to stay put. You guys don't understand. They're not a human. You don't know how they think. No, 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 no. You think you'll get out alive? Every warrior has a beginning. I'm on a new level! For 600 years, our ninja have brought peace to the world. I'm on a new level! I need warriors like you. Join us. What do I have to do? The journey from here is yours to decide. That is just the beginning. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. You guys are good back there. Keep your eyes open, you might see a whale. Or a shark. One day I was out of my own. One grabbed me from behind. Luckily it was more of a love bite than a real chomp. Welcome to Hell's Reef. We made it. Hi! Shark attack. It's gotta be out there somewhere. You've got no idea where to look. The chance of finding anything is almost zero. Yeah, we have to try. She could still be alive. We're sinking fast. We're in the current. By morning, we'll be 75 k's from here. Get a mate out? Not sure. What about the rescue boat? The current is running east. We use it to get to the coast. You're kidding. You got a better idea? So do you think it's gone? It's still out there. And it's close. Everyone get out of the water! Christopher Dunch. Today we're going to be operating on Rose Keller, a patient presented with severe back pain diagnosed as a herniated disc. It is important we are in and out with as little fanfare as possible. So, mouth shut, ears open. Let's begin. Hey, doctor. I heard you came across some of Christopher Dunch's surgeries. Sir, there's a lot of bleeding. Focus on your job. How is the patient? Perfect. There's a hemorrhage here, you need to fix it. So there were no complications? I don't have complications. I can't make sense of this. It's like he knew what he was supposed to do. Then he did the exact opposite. I could have told you the guy was a hack. What did he do? Dorothy Burke walked in all on her own and now she's brain dead. Today we'll be minimally invasive. 
and turned him into a quadriplegic. Work ethic was second to none. Ooh, Ted Bundy was a good worker, too. We all make mistakes. But not you. No, man. Dunch has two deaths. Texas has executed people for less. All due respect, Dr. Kirby, you don't understand the law. You don't understand who we're after. Dunch is never going to stop on his own. You have to protect the public and suspend his license. My patients mean everything to me, and the longer I'm here, the longer they're in pain. You hurt these people. You saw what he did to them. I swear I will make sure this never happens to anyone else. If you take my license in Texas, there's an entire world out there. The system is broken. I have a suggestion. It's a bit extreme. He's either the most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath. <laughs>